Top Tips for International Students Maintaining Your Status in Canada Welcome back to Canada Chronicles. If you're an international student in Canada, you know how important it is to keep your status in good standing. In today's video, we'll be diving into essential tips that will help you stay on track and avoid any unexpected pitfalls. Whether it's keeping your study permit valid, understanding your work options, or staying in good academic standing, we've got you covered with the latest updates as of August 2024. But that's not all. There's more to maintaining your status than meets the eye. Stay tuned until the end, where we'll explore some hidden challenges that international students often overlook, challenges that could impact your ability to stay and succeed in Canada. Before we dive in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update from Canada Chronicles. Let's get started. As an international student in Canada, maintaining your status is crucial to ensuring a successful and smooth academic journey. There are several factors to consider, and staying informed and organized is key. In this video, we'll dive into the top tips for maintaining your status as an international student in Canada, making sure you're aware of all the latest updates and essential information to keep your status secure. Keep your study permit valid. One of the most important aspects of maintaining your status in Canada is ensuring that your study permit is always valid. Your study permit is your legal authorization to study in Canada, and it's essential that you monitor its expiration date closely. If your permit is close to expiring, you'll need to apply for a renewal at least 30 days before the expiration date. However, it's best to start the process even earlier to avoid any potential delays or complications. If your study permit expires before you submit your renewal application, you may lose your student status, which could affect your ability to continue your studies and remain in Canada. Make sure to gather all the necessary documents, including proof of enrollment in your academic program, when applying for a renewal. Maintain full-time enrollment. To keep your student status, you must remain enrolled in a full-time academic program throughout your stay in Canada. Full-time enrollment typically means taking a minimum number of courses or credits as defined by your educational institution. If you drop below full-time status, you could lose your eligibility to work on or off campus, and it may even affect your ability to apply for a post-graduation work permit, PGWP, later on. If you need to take a break from your studies for any reason, such as medical reasons or family emergencies, make sure to inform your institution and follow the proper procedures to maintain your status. In some cases, you may need to apply for a leave of absence, which could affect your study permit and work eligibility. It's essential to understand the implications of any changes to your enrollment status and seek advice from your institution's international student office if needed. Understand your work options. Working while studying in Canada is a great way to gain valuable experience and earn extra income, but it's crucial to understand the rules and limitations. As an international student, you may be eligible to work on or off campus without a separate work permit, but only under certain conditions. To work on campus, you must be a full-time student at a designated learning institution, DLI, and hold a valid study permit. On-campus work is usually limited to part-time hours during the academic year and full-time during scheduled breaks. Off-campus work requires that you maintain full-time enrollment and is also subject to a maximum of 20 hours per week during the academic year, with the option to work full-time during scheduled breaks. It's important to stay within the allowed work hours, as exceeding them could result in the loss of your student status and even removal from Canada. Always keep track of your work hours and ensure that you are following the regulations. If you're unsure about your eligibility to work or have questions about your work permit, consult your institution's international student office or an immigration advisor. Stay in good academic standing. Maintaining good academic standing is another critical aspect of keeping your status as an international student in Canada. Each institution has its own academic requirements, but generally, this means achieving satisfactory grades and completing your courses on time. Falling below the required academic standards could lead to academic probation or even expulsion, which would directly impact your study permit and ability to stay in Canada. If you're struggling academically, don't hesitate to seek help. Most institutions offer academic support services, such as tutoring, counseling, and workshops to help you succeed. It's also important to communicate with your professors and academic advisors if you're facing challenges, as they can provide guidance and resources to help you get back on track. Understand the Post-Graduation Work Permit PGWP, program. The Post-Graduation Work Permit program is an excellent opportunity for international students to gain Canadian work experience after completing their studies. However, there are specific requirements that you must meet to be eligible for this program. 
First and foremost, you must have completed a program of study at a designated learning institution, DLI, that is at least eight months long. Additionally, you must have maintained full-time student status throughout your studies, with a few exceptions, such as your final semester. If you meet these requirements, you can apply for a PGWP, which can be issued for up to three years, depending on the length of your program. It's important to apply for your PGWP within 180 days of receiving your final marks, and you must hold a valid study permit at the time of application. Failing to meet these requirements could result in the denial of your PGWP application, which would affect your ability to stay and work in Canada after graduation. Stay informed about immigration changes. Immigration policies and regulations can change frequently, and it's crucial to stay informed about any updates that may affect your status as an international student. Subscribe to newsletters, follow official government websites, and stay connected with your institution's international student office to receive the latest information. One recent update, as of August 2024, involves changes to the work hours allowed for international students. The Canadian government has temporarily lifted the 20-hour-per-week cap on off-campus work for certain periods to address labor shortages in critical sectors. While this change is beneficial, it's essential to verify the specific details and timeframes to ensure compliance. Thanks for staying with us this far. We appreciate your time and hope you're finding this information valuable. The hidden challenges of maintaining your status. While we've covered the key aspects of maintaining your status, there are some hidden challenges that international students often overlook. One of the most common issues is failing to report changes in your personal information, such as your address, phone number, or marital status, to Immigration, Refugees, and Citizenship Canada, IRCC. It's crucial to update your information within 10 days of any changes, as failing to do so could lead to complications with your study permit and other immigration processes. Another challenge is understanding the rules around taking a break from your studies. While it's possible to take a break for certain reasons, such as medical issues or a family emergency, you must follow the correct procedures and inform both your institution and IRCC. Failing to do so could result in the loss of your student status, and you may be required to leave Canada. Moreover, many students are unaware of the impact of working more than the allowed hours during their studies. Even if you're tempted to take on extra work to cover expenses, exceeding the permitted hours could jeopardize your status and future immigration applications. It's essential to balance your work and studies carefully and seek financial assistance or scholarships if you're struggling financially. Finally, some students face challenges when it comes to transitioning from their study permit to a work permit or permanent residency. The process can be complex and time-sensitive, and any mistakes or delays could affect your ability to stay in Canada after graduation. It's important to plan ahead and seek advice from immigration consultants or advisors to ensure a smooth transition. Know your rights and responsibilities. As an international student in Canada, it's important to understand your rights and responsibilities. You have the right to live, study, and work in Canada, as long as you comply with the conditions of your study permit. You also have the right to access health care, rent accommodations, and seek legal protection under Canadian law. However, with these rights come responsibilities. You must comply with the conditions of your study permit, maintain your status, and report any changes in your circumstances to IRCC. You must also respect Canadian laws and regulations, including those related to work and study. Keep copies of important documents. Maintaining copies of your important documents is essential for your status as an international student. Always keep copies of your study permit, passport, visa, enrollment letter, and any correspondence with IRCC. Having these documents on hand will make it easier to renew your permit, apply for a PGWP, or address any issues that may arise during your stay in Canada. Make sure to store both physical copies and digital backups of your documents in a secure location. This will help you stay organized and prepared for any unexpected situations. Seek help when needed. Finally, don't hesitate to seek help when needed. Whether you're facing academic challenges, immigration issues, or personal difficulties, there are resources available to support you. Reach out to your institution's international student office, academic advisors, or community organizations for assistance. Remember, maintaining your status in Canada is a shared responsibility, and there are people who can help you navigate the process. Staying informed, organized, and proactive is the key to a successful academic journey in Canada. By following these tips, you can ensure that you maintain your status and make the most of your time as an international student. Thanks for watching Canada Chronicles. We've covered essential tips to help you maintain your status as an international student in Canada, from keeping your study permit valid to understanding your work options and staying informed about immigration changes.
We hope you found this information valuable and that it helps you navigate your academic journey successfully. Remember, maintaining your status in Canada is crucial to achieving your goals, so stay organized, stay informed, and don't hesitate to seek help when needed. If you have any questions or need further guidance, feel free to drop a comment below, and we'll do our best to assist you. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay updated on the latest immigration news and tips, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss out. Thanks again for tuning in to Canada Chronicles, and we'll see you in the next video.